Hey everyone, it's Laura from OurWillyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a solid perfume using some essential oils and beeswax. This recipe is super simple. Three ingredients here is all I have and it is so fun because you get to pick the scent that you want to use and you can change it up with using any essential oils. This will make a perfect gift or you can even make it for yourself. Usually when I make it, I'll make a into a little container like this. You can use a little glass mason jar. You can find containers like this on Amazon, which I'll link these down in the description below. So to get started, we are going to use some beeswax bars. Now I got these from a pure and they are yellow beeswax bars and they are 100% natural just beeswax which I love and so these come in little bars like this so when you get your beeswax out now you can shred this to make this step a little faster or you can just put the beeswax in your double boiler and I'm gonna turn this on high heat here and as this comes to a boil the beeswax is going to melt then we're just going to add in a couple tablespoons of a carrier oil i am using avocado oil you can also use fractionated coconut oil or you can use jojoba oil sweet almond oil whatever oil you want and then we're going to remove it from the heat let it cool a bit and then we're going to add in our essential oils Okay, now that the beeswax is all melted, we're going to remove it from the heat here. Turn this down to stop the smoke. Okay, so we are going to let this cool just slightly. So what we want to do now is we're going to add in the carrot oil that you're using, and like I said, just a couple tablespoons, and then I'm going to wait about five minutes before adding in my essential oils just so this doesn't lose its therapeutic benefits. Now the point of this obviously is mainly for the scent because we are making a perfume and want it to smell really pretty and nice. But because I'm using these high quality pure essential oils, I have doTERRA oils here, these are also going to have some nice aromatherapy benefits and benefits whenever you're applying it onto your skin topically. And so I want to preserve those benefits. So I'm not going to just put them straight in this boiling hot beeswax. I'm going to let it kind of cool a little bit. The jar is already cooling quite a bit. And then I'm going to add them in. Or a tin about this size, about two tablespoons of beeswax, two tablespoons of your carrier oil, you're gonna add in about 50 drops of essential oils. Now you can do one oil, you can do a blend of oils, you can do two oils or 10 oils, whatever you want. I listed out a few of my favorite blends over on the blog. I shared blends for men and women. Today I'm going to make my all-time favorite blend, which is a blend of lavender, sandalwood, and bergamot. I just love those oils together. I think they have a beautiful scent. I like the added in bergamot to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. Sandalwood tones it down, makes it a little woodsy, and then of course lavender smells like flowers, so I love that. Okay, so I think this is cool enough now. I'm gonna add in some of my essential oils. I'm gonna start off with my lavender, and I'm gonna do about 25 drops of the lavender. And then I'm going to do 10 drops of my sandalwood. It's a little bit thicker. It comes a little harder to come out from the lavender. About 10 drops. Now this can be not precise. You can decide if you want yours stronger or how you, what kind of scent you prefer. And then I'm just gonna add in about five drops of bergamot just to sweeten it up a little bit. And I'm going to just let this kind of all stir together pretty well in here. And I'm gonna pour it straight into the container that I'm storing it in. I'm gonna do this pretty quickly because I don't want this to harden. Once it's cool and becomes a solid, the best way to use this is just to take a couple fingers and swipe it across the top. The heat off of your body will have, it will allow it to melt slightly just to get a little bit on your hand. You don't need to like dig down into it and make a hole in there, just a nice little swipe. And then you can apply it to your wrist, your neck, your chest, the back of your neck to get the beautiful scent of this perfume. Because you're using essential oils, like I said earlier, you're also gonna be getting some nice aromatherapy benefits 
These three oils here are very calming oils. They're great for relaxing. So by applying your perfume, it's gonna help with stress and anxious feelings, things like that. So that's the beauty of using essential oils and really you're just getting more toxic things out of your home and replacing them with natural products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you guys want this exact beeswax, I have it linked down in the description below. I also have these containers linked down below and also a link for essential oils if you guys are ready to get essential oils into your home. If this is your first time by my channel, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by.